हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सब ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल चैनल दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट मेजरिंग लाइट इंटेंसिटी व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज लक्स फॉर दिस आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू यूज टेक्सस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स OPT3001 एंबिएंट लाइट सेंसर बिकॉज़ ऑफ इट्स एक्यूरेसी एंड मेजरेबल लक्स रेंज वाचिंग दिस वीडियो कंप्लीटली वुड बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू एज आई एम शेयरिंग स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसीजर सो दैट यू कैन रन दिस प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट इटसेल्फ So without wasting time let's get started For the sake of this project I have prepared a small PCB of OPT3001 Along with this we would need Arduino and few jumper wires The simplest part of this project is hardware connection We will start with connecting power lines to OPT3001 Make sure you are using 3.3 volts as this sensor runs in the range of 1.8 volts to 3.6 volts only Furthermore it is featured with O2C bus So connect A4 and A5 pins of Arduino to SCL and SDA pin. That's it. You can get this diagram and complete description of code on my website. So don't forget to check out that link in the description down below. Now before moving to coding section, let's go through the data sheet of OPT3001. We will get some technical details from there. You can get this data sheet from TI's official website. So feature of this sensors are automatic full scale setting feature so what it does is it takes samples from the sensor and automatically selects the optimal full scale range for the given lighting conditions next is lux range it is from 0.01 to 83k lux now that is far beyond the normal requirements now let's jump to the register map there are only 6 configuration registers offered by this sensor Most important one is the result register located at 00x. We'll check more details about it in a couple of minutes. Next one is the configuration register which stores all runtime configuration of this sensors like conversion mode that is single shot or continuous conversion or shutdown. Again conversion time and few more features. Low limit register and high limit register are basically used to set comparison limits for the interrupt reporting mechanism. and last two registers are manufacturer id and device id registers which are intended to help uniquely identify this device so guys result register is 16 bit wide register which stores most recent light to digital conversion data basically it has two parts in it 4 bit exponent and a 12 bit mantissa so after getting this data we need to calculate lsb size by this formula and then multiply it with mantissa for configuration register default value is c810 we need to change it in order to start reading sensor data here we can change the conversion time which determines the length of light to digital conversion process 0 is for 100 millisecond and 1 is for 800 milliseconds next field is mode of conversion by default it is 00 hex which means shutdown state so when device is powered on by default sensor is in shutdown state we will change this field to 11 so as to get continuous conversions you can go through all the fields for more details now let's move to coding section this is code for reading opt3001 data firstly initialize serial bus with baud rate of 9600 for the debug purpose Then initialize Arduino board in I2C master mode. If you want to get more details on how I2C works for Arduino, then you must check out my previous video on understanding Arduino I2C. You can get link in upper right corner and in description as well. Okay, then start I2C frame with slave address 0x44, which is obviously for OPT3001. Use wire dot write 01 followed by CE10. By this we will write config register located at 0x01 which we saw a couple of minutes back with CE10 data bytes. This will start OPT3001 in continuous conversion mode. Then in void loop send I2C frame with slave address 0x44 and followed by register address 0x00. By this we can expect two bytes of data from OPT sensor. Once data is received, convert it into readable format. Here we need to use conversion formula. 
we will first extract exponent and mantissa then apply formula which we saw in data sheet finally let's print it on serial terminal and we are done with the coding here let's upload it on arduino and see the terminal output now let's open the serial monitor and see the output on the left hand side we are getting the data received from the opt sensor and right hand side is the calculated lux let's try by blocking the window of opt sensor here you can see the final output of lux dropped suddenly let's unblock this window and the final lux output back to the normal state so by this we have seen how to interface opt sensor with arduino and that's it for this video guys hit like button if you like this video and do share with your friends if you found this helpful and i'm your host varad kulkarni signing off